What is going on guys and today I'm bringing you a brand new video before we get into it the FIFA point giveaway is going to be at the end of the month and all you got to do to enter is follow me on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube and of course Instagram as well. We've got some really good trading methods for you today guys with some really cheap cards so make sure to subscribe if you do enjoy the content. Of course drop a like down below it really helps out the channel but without further ado let's get into it. So guys, the theme today is going to be non-rare Spanish players who go for a silly amount for the card we've got. So for example here, we've got Johnny here, who's going for about 2.4k. Uh, EA tax on that is going to be 110 coin, 120 coins, I believe. Uh, so this one here, we're only going to make an 80 coin profit off, but it was there when we first started searching, so we can't complain. And we're going to list that one up for 2.4 pretty quickly. I have three players here for you guys who are all non-rare which means they're very easy to get good snipes on and they're all, all also all spanish i just figured we'd go for a second theme rather than just the, the the type of card they are so we're going for a spanish theme and what i'll do is i'll do a similar video to this sort of every wednesday tuesday i'll pick a day where we just have some non-rare players really easy to snipe and really good profits so we've got johnny here first of all <clears throat> let me cough i don't have covid i promise um but we've got johnny here we got a good snipe on him straight off the bat you can't find him under 2.4 right now, and it does seem like even the 2.4s are pretty scarce. If we have a look at, I mean, I'm looking at footbin in front of me because that's where uh, I've got the players up so I can remember. I mean, 2.5 is pretty reasonable to sell him at, so we could probably squeeze a little bit more profit out of the one that we did pick up. We're going to snipe him at 2.2 and below. Now, what you got to bear in mind, guys, is I'm currently on the market at half 11. I'm trying to pre-do a video for tomorrow, but that does mean that the market is a little bit more dry than usual we've already been finessed i did try another player who was really good to snipe in the day but we couldn't find him because it is night time so what you've got to bear in mind guys i am sniping at the poorest time to be sniping so there you go they've already gone up to 2.5 while we've been here which means we can snipe from 2.3 really and see if we can get anything like that and we'll go from there it also meant the 2.2 could have got us a little bit more profit if we'd have lifted them at 2.5 but we're also guaranteed the sale so it's definitely not something we can complain about we're going to see if we can get a second one of him hopefully we can it will just be dependent on him if he's being listed it is a bit annoying because obviously the market's a bit dry at this kind of time at night but I'm trying to pre-do videos from tomorrow. I'll be able to pre-do them at like nine o'clock because um, I've already had to do two videos today. So in future, we won't have the issue of it being late, but hopefully we can somehow find one of these 2.4 there. He is being listed, it would seem, but just not at the price we want. So we're just gonna hope we can get one more 2.2 there. That's not too bad, we can't complain. Obviously, we've been sniping in for about maybe a minute we found two at 2.2 in total the profit would be about 400 coins if i'd sold both of them at 2.5 because obviously we didn't realize that his market value was changing as quickly as it was we missed out on that little bit of profit with the first one we'll see if we can get one more i'll put let's have a look we'll give it 20 seconds and then we will move on to the next one hopefully we can get a nice little deal in that time before we move on uh last 10 seconds and it does seem like we might only be getting two of these, but as I said, guys, it's nothing to do with the method. It's all about the fact I am sniping when everyone else is in bed. Uh, we're going to be looking next at Sierra. So he's another Spanish player who's non-rare. Once again, very, very silly price he's going for. They're all probably because of SBCs. That's the only thing I can really imagine it's for. Let me make sure I spell his name correctly. Okay, guys, after a little bit of confusion about what his name actually was, um, we've managed to find... Ivan Marco here. It does seem like he's going for a little bit less than I thought. I believed he was going for about three and a half, but these two might just be anomalies, in which case we might be able to very quickly flip those. So <clears throat> if you look at that, he's 3.3 there. These are the next cheapest on the market. If we actually buy both of these, uh, we could sell them for 3.4 pretty easily, uh, and then we would make a decent profit. So 3.4 EA tax is going to be, if I work out quickly in my head, 190 coins. So we'll be just making over 100 coins on that. Definitely not something to turn your nose up at though, especially this early in FIFA. So 
We're gonna list him up for 3.4. I believed he was going for 3.5, not too much of a difference. I think we actually get 200 coins profit out of that. Uh, looking at it so definitely not something to complain about and we'll snipe from here you can see we've got the 3.3 the 3.2 you really want to be picking 3.2 and below so sorry 3.1 and below uh, 3.2 kind of takes away quite a bit of the profit so we don't want to lose coins there you can see he is being listed under what he should be but that's just because it's late at night people try and get the coins a little bit quicker but that is going to benefit us because hopefully people will be listing them maybe 2.5 maybe even less and we can get a very good snipe out of him that's obviously what we're aiming for here so it does seem He's not being listed as heavily as I'd hope. Obviously, as I said, guys, late night sniping, definitely not the one. If you're gonna take any of my advice, sniping earlier on in the day would definitely be the first thing you wanna do. I am only doing this in order to get more prep videos for you guys in the future. Um, and from tomorrow, hopefully, we won't have this kind of issue, as I said. Now, we sniped him for a little while, not too long. Obviously, we picked up those two, which are kind of guaranteed profit. We do really wanna snipe on him other than those two, though. It it does seem like people are listed in more at 3.3, 3.2, and so on. We got one there at 3.3. Obviously, the three. Oh, is that 2.9? Lovely stuff. We, we can't complain. Nice little final snipe. I don't know what the hell happened there, but we ended up getting the 2.9. I swear we were on a 3.3, but you know what? We're not going to complain. We will take the profit. I'm going to whack him up for 3.5, and hopefully he sells overnight and someone sort of accidentally spends a little bit too much on him. Is there any others on the market? There's one at 3K. We could probably buy that. But we're going to stay safe and move on to the next method. We don't want to be spending too much on him, especially if people are being dumb and listing him for the wrong price. So we're going to go for the final player. A little bit of a downgrade in price. We've got Solace here who once again we're going to have a problem with the name we're going to go for Soraya I believe is probably the better way to put it in obviously on Footbin I've got his full name in front of me uh, and we're going for the full name and apparently I'm going to go for the wrong part of the name every time this guy's going for a little bit more than we expected uh, we got him at let's have a look so 2.3, I was expecting him to be cheaper than this actually. So 2.3 there, it looks like he'll naturally easily sell on for about 2.4, uh, maybe even more, 2.5 probably. So if we say we're sniping at 2.5, it would be about 2.3, so if we say we're selling on for 2.5, it'd be about 2.3 that we do need to buy them at. So we're just gonna see if anything less comes up, it would be ideal to get maybe a 2.2, 2.1 uh, and so on. I do like the compare price method a lot more than regular sniping. I don't know why. I've always just been a bit partial to it since it's been a thing. Um, but it definitely isn't a better way of sniping. I know it sounds so stupid to hear from someone doing trading on YouTube. But I much prefer compare price even though there is no actual difference. And if anything, you're probably better off doing normal sniping. You can set the filters better. Uh, I've not really ever got a ridiculous snipe on compare price. I've maybe had one or two, but nothing that was like stick out where I'd be like, oh yeah, guys, I got this amazing. Ooh amazing snipe but yeah we got a 1.6 there which is as i was saying the sort of snipe we're looking for when we can sell him on for 2.5 that's almost a thousand coins profit before ea tax uh, so yeah am i words late at night struggling um but yeah almost a thousand coins profit definitely can't complain about that obviously ea tax is always going to finesse us another very fast snipe there if you guys do want any videos on how to snipe fast or how to snipe a little bit faster than you already are or if any of you need any help please let me know in the comments i will uh, sort of consider doing videos like that i don't know if it's needed i don't know if you guys are only really here for filters or if you actually need help with the method of sniping itself obviously i use a few different methods uh, and it might help you i mean there's a method where you literally just do xa on here there's a method where you can do uh where you just do down and down and down there's a method uh, where you do compare prices three or four different ways to snipe they all work and it's just whatever's best for you obviously there are people who we don't like on this channel but there are how did i not get that one but i got the 1.6 that's a joke that's so stupid and we're gonna you know what we're gonna leave on that stupid oh no we're not uh we're gonna leave on that average note I'll take it over a stupid note, but we're going to leave on that stupid note. As I was saying, guys, if you do want any help with the methods of sniping, let me know. I'll do videos on them. Obviously, if you're just coming here for filters, that's fine too. It's been nice to see the channel growing a lot recently. I know my transfer and coins video is doing really well. So if you are here from that, really appreciate you guys. And hopefully you went the giveaway. I do wish you all luck and we'll see you guys tomorrow.